Seni bol buldan kimse kurtaramaz. Have you ever been playing a game where they say something in a foreign language, but they don't give you any subtitles or translations for you to understand? Well, that's what we're here for. Join us today on What Are They Saying In... Unlike our last video where we only focused on one language, here we've got seven. So Matt, let's start from the bottom up with the infamous Glass Joe. Bonjour, bonjour, je suis Glass Joe. <laughs> and oh boy, right off the bat we got a grammatical error. Anyone who's taken a single year of French would know that's wrong. He's literally calling himself A Glass Joe instead of saying Je m'appelle Glass Joe. Hey Nick, remind me what country this game was developed in? Uh, Canada, right? Correct. And what languages do they speak up there? English and French? Wait a bear hug in second. If this isn't intentional, something went very wrong. Attention à mon menton! Ne frappe pas mon menton! Ha! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, KO! Hey, hey! Vive la France! Les mains font mal! Les grandes box sont trop serrées! Oh, quit complaining! You act like you've lost 99 fights in a row! Oh, wait. If you're familiar with this version of Punch Out, you probably already know that every fighter has two versions of themselves Contender and Title Defense Mode. In Title Defense Mode, they're stronger, faster, or sometimes have completely different moves. But that also means they have new voice lines. Je viens de chercher. Allons en forme. Right. Alors, t'es en forme? Hey, hey, liberté. Mon docteur a déclaré que tu es mauvais pour ma santé. Alors, ça te plaît? Ah! Ma tête est en pleine forme, mais mon estomac est en bouillie. Now listen to me. We put a lot of time and effort, blood and hard work into this video. And the hardest trial we ever had to face was... <sighs> Losing to Glass Joe. Aha! Ha! J'ai gagné! Let's move on before the shame catches up to us. It already has. Next, we got Von Kaiser. And if you were to translate his name, it would be From the Emperor. Now, he speaks fairly fast, so pay close attention. <laughs> exactly. Ich bin eine Kampfmaschine. Mein Name? Von Kaiser. Kuckuck, Kuckuck. Deine Stunde hat geschlagen. Ich gehe nach links. Ich gehe nach rechts. <lacht> oh, Hilfe! Aha! Komm mal, komm mal. Weitermachen! Wo bist du denn? Mami! Weiter geht's. Oh, oh. Nein! Komm mal, komm mal. Right. Now, Totten Café is actually a compound word, which means ant's tea, implying tea time with your aunt. Ich, deutsche Position. Du, Windmühle. Why is this sucker always yelling? Kampfstiefel! Why does he say that? Is his battle cry combat boots? Is he preparing for the almighty three-shoe beating? Well, don't you know, Nick? Shoes are a really dangerous weapon. Booms! Now the next fighter he faces is Disco Kid, but um... Uh... Ready for this? Yeah, Disco Kid! I think you can understand what he's saying. Right Righty-o, let's move on to the next foreign fighter, King Hippo. Nick, I don't actually think he says anything of value. Of course he does. It's just a very intricate and complex language. Like, for example. <laughs> Alright, bad joke is bad. Let's move on to the actual next fighter, Piston Honda. I know they changed his name to Piston Honda for legal reasons, but he'll always be Piston Honda in our hearts. I mean, hey, even Doc Lewis references his old name. But before we really start digging into his lines, I'd actually like to bring up his headband which says Ichiban, which translates to number one. But let's rewind back to the NES days, where it says Nippon Ichi, meaning Japan's number one. However, it's also worth bringing up what he says in between rounds, saying sushi, 
Kamikaze, which means Divine Wind, Fujiyama, which is Mount Fuji, and Nippon Ichi, well, we just covered that. <laughs> I find it funny that he names food when he gets knocked down. Well, I guess he's just hungry, Nick. He also, in between rounds, references ancient proverbs. In most Asian cultures, bowing is how you show respect towards others, and in martial arts tournaments, it's how you show good sportsmanship. Let's move on to Great Tiger. Now, the first few guys we were able to translate because we know people who speak those languages. But we don't know anyone who speaks Hindi, so these are rough translations from the internet. I'm actually worried that he might have a concussion. Can we please just appreciate how he goes Super Saiyan mid-fight? And would you believe that this is the second most ridiculous thing? <laughs> How did the censors at Nintendo not pick this up? Like, seriously. And now it's time for my favorite fighter, for obvious reasons, Don Flamenco. Me llaman Don, Don Flamenco. So, let's start with his whole bullfighting shtick. First off, matador means killer or butcher, but has become practically synonymous with the bullfighter. Ole is just any other cheer, like bravo or hooray! Toro! Alright Nick, dumb question. What does Toro mean? Toro means bull. So it's the way that the bullfighter gets the bull's attention. By calling it a bull. Kinda like if you were to call your dog... a dog. Speaking of dogs... Has visto, hombre? Como enamoro a las chicas? No te parece que huelo a victoria? What a boss. Let's knock him down a peg. Venga, venga. Vamos, vamos. Ay, mamá. Venga, ven a por mí. Uy, carmen, mi amor. Ole, bien hecho. Bien visto. Oh, oh, uy, mi carmen. Mira, mira. Oh, oh, mira esto. Fallé. Venga, mira. Pero cómo. Ay, no, no, no. Uy, pobre. I should clarify. Bobre does mean poor, but when you say it in this context, it's kind of like saying, Oh, you poor thing. Ole, 
Venga, venga. One, uh, two, uh, three, ¿Qué pasa? Uh, ¿Quieres uh, más? Uh, Perfecto. Perfecto. Aquí. Será posible. Hoy. ¿Es que nunca has visto una rosa negra? Ah. Por Carmen. All right, now it's time to crack open a cold one with our boy Soda Papinski. Ya Soda Papinski! Ya Soda Papinski! Fun fact, he used to be known as Vaka Drakinski, but they had to change it for obvious reasons. I think you can guess why. Now, Soda is a man of few words, even to the point where he could fit all of his lines into a single page. Seriously, look! Even though they changed it from alcohol to soda, our Russian translator has pointed out that Mr. Papinski has a bit of a, uh, drunken slur to his speech. Похоже, тебе надо выпить, Little Mac. Ха-ха! Я могу победить тебя даже одной рукой, привязанной за моей спиной! Мой любимый напиток — это победа! Еще пару бутылочек! Это мое здоровье! Это мое здоровье! Моя бутылка! Как это? О, помогите! Не надо вас! Сикс! Что? Нет! Now it's time to finish this off with the one and the only Bold Bull. Silly Bold Bull done Chipsa Kutaramas. Band on the Kerry Player, the Chapter Chutter Kurmasam, one of the Bold Bull Devis in that. Weird how he calls himself Bald Bull. I mean, even Great Tiger says his name in his native language. I wonder what Bald Bull translates to in Turkish. Kal Kal de Boa. You know what? Bald Bull rolls off the tongue better. Oh, 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 oh! Get him, Sandy Lawn! Oh! Oh, God, it's it! God, it's it! God, it's it! God, it's it! Ah! Ah! Oh, my young buckler! Young chicken and lunch! Ah! Oh, my young buckler! Young buckler! I chuckle the sugar! Shucker, the shucker, shucker, the shucker. Little Mac, <laughs> Yani, share Ramaz Mac. Shimmy goes to him. Oh man! Caravana! Oh man! Ah, man! Just real quick, I want to call attention to this line in particular. Hey, Doc! Make it Dayaki be in it, your suit! I seriously have no clue how some of these lines got past the Nintendo sensors. And I think that's a good spot to leave on. Hopefully this video was educational, as well as entertaining. We both hope you had as much fun watching as we did making it. If we mistranslated something, let us know in the comments. We got some upcoming videos and reviews in the wings, so if you want to see them, you can subscribe for more. And I think we'll leave you with one last line to learn. Take it away, Don! Adiós.